So today I'll be talking how, about how Dell is helping our customers cross the storage chasm with their Kubernetes workloads. This is specific to our Kubernetes data storage software. So Dell primarily works with mid large size enterprises providing services storage for data, data intensive workloads, as many of you are aware. Uh, 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 although a majority of these customers are VM based, uh, Kubernetes is becoming more and more of a priority. Uh, there's more exploration in it, which is why we're progress progressing our data storage software to make um, our primary storage capabilities more Kubernetes native. And um, this, this started with the container storage interface. Um, Dell implemented the universal specification to create our own CSI drivers to allow data persistence with our uh, block and file storage, and more recently, our object um, object storage as well. Um, just a couple, a couple of months ago, we introduced the uh, container object storage interface, COSI um, drivers. So that's been exciting. But with all of this, um, and from experience talking to customers, um, these are just table stakes for most of these customers, there are a lot of data management problems that CSI does not currently tackle. So as for our next step, um, we decided to use these CSI drivers as the foundation to build out more advanced um, capabilities. Um, and these are called the container storage modules. Um, they are, you can see them as an enhanced layer on top, um, further accelerating de deployment testing um, for even faster deployment cycles. So today we have seven of these modules. They have different functionalities on top of the storage arrays. And, um, they int and uh, for some of them, they introduce open source tools that, and technologies that you guys know very well. Um, Prometheus, Grafana, uh, OpenTelemetry, Rustic, just to name a few. Uh, for some others, um, they take these enterprise class storage capabilities that already exist in the storage arrays and then make them Kubernetes. So uh, Kubernetes native. So we do the reverse there and um, kind of combine the best of both worlds. Um, for example, our replication module leverages existing replication capabilities of this Dell storage arrays that weren't originally actually designed for Kubernetes. Um, customers can pick and choose which models they, they would like to use and for which clusters. And among these, um, authorization is the most popular. Um, it allows Kubernetes storage admins to apply RBAC uh, rules and instantly and automatically restrict uh, cluster attendance usage of storage resources. That's just um, a really quick overview. Um, but we've seen that Kubernetes uh, popularity uh, continues to grow. Uh, we have more and more customers using these modules. Um, and one question that we've asked ourselves and tried to focus in on is how to make deployment um, operations of our software even more simple, efficient, and scalable. Uh, many of our customers today are new to Kubernetes, um, especially in the storage realm. A lot of them um, you know, are just exploring right now. Um, and, they, uh, and then we also have staff just with a lot of different priorities, like what, what do they want to use our tool for? So making that entry point um, to our software as seamless as, as possible has become a very top priority. And with this, um, this is why we are introducing a new platform. Um, we are developing um, uh, a unified user experience and user um, interface. So it's tying all those pieces together and adding a, another layer on top, um, built specifically to simplify multi-cloud, multi-site Kubernetes data storage management. Um, this is called the Apex Navigator for Kubernetes um, coming out later this year. Um, it integrates installation and deployment of our Kubernetes data soft, uh, storage software and provides an intuitive GUI um, that allows staff who aren't Kubernetes experts, um, not Kubernetes savvy at all, um, to easily complete jobs without even to use, needing to use command line or having any baseline knowledge. Um, so we're excited to, um, for what this offer means. Um, this year will be very exciting for us. And um, we're also, you know, this is just part of our continuation to build our entire portfolio to better enable data on Kubernetes, streamline experience over and over, add simplicity um, and performance. So I know that was a lot in a couple of minutes. Um, thank you all.